For over 30 years, a Motor Transport Award has been the most sought after award in the road transport industry. The awards presentation is still the biggest night in the road transport calendar, with over 1,500 people reading like a who's who of road transport, gathering at the Grosvenor House Hotel to see who will walk off with one of these 20 iconic bronze statues. Winning a Motor Transport Award really does matter because they are judged by your peers, leading industry experts with many years experience in road transport. Whenever I go and see an award winner, these statues are proudly on display, taking pride of place in every winner's display cabinet. Most of the awards, with the exception of innovation and apprenticeship, are for operators running fleets of 11 or more trucks or vans. So, if you're a manufacturer, a supplier or a customer with a great story to tell, find an operator to enter with. Here are some of the chairmen of the judging panels giving you some top tips on what it takes to win an MT award. Don't submit the same or similar entries for more than one category. Um, if we feel that um, you have entered the same um, entry for more than one category, we'll use our skill and judgment to decide which one it's most appropriate for. So really you should be entering um, into the one you most likely want to win. Make sure your entry is tailored specifically to the category and doesn't read like a corporate brochure that just includes a generic description of your company. Read the entry form carefully. The judges will be looking for entries that address all of the criteria set out on the form. Um, entrants should demonstrate excellence rather than just business as usual. You have 1,000 words to make it clear in your entry why you think you deserve to win the award. Appendices with supporting documentation can be included, but make sure that this is clearly identified in the entry itself. If you're entering the Hall Year of the Year category, you should supply um, the last three years of audited accounts and you should also supply your OCRS for all of your operating centres attached to your entry. Please stick to the word count. Every year judges tell us that some entries are far too long and all that's going to achieve is to put them off. Short, concise and to the point entries are far more likely to be successful than endless pages of information and graphics. Basically put yourself in the judges shoes. What would impress you? Don't forget that as well as Hawley of the Year, we also have Temperature Controlled Operator of the Year and Home Delivery Operator of the Year to reflect the growing importance of these sectors. It's really important that you keep it simple. Judges only have about 15 minutes to read each individual entry, so make it really easy for them to find the information that you want them to see. Basically, put the most important bits on page 1 and not page 101. Remember the three golden rules. Read the entry form, stick to the word count and keep it simple.